Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm out today um, for the first time in a long time actually, going out to shoot. So we're gonna be meeting up with Liam and Mike and Chris. I met Liam and Mike before and they're from Melbourne. And yeah, I'm just super excited to go out and shoot again for the first time in a long time because conditions are getting better in New South Wales. And yeah, let's see what we get up to tonight. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. All right, just pause here for a sec. At the time I recorded this intro, I really didn't know what we were gonna be doing that night. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to shoot and edit this image right here. So stay tuned to the end to see the whole process. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. But let's just see what we get up to. Let's go find these guys. Hey, here he is. No. Are we allowed to do a hand? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Demis is filming a vlog tonight. How's your vlog going? I don't know. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Hey, look, look at handshake coming up. Bro, you know, oh, oh, it. Hey, man. how are you? I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. What's up, bro? Been a while. Hey, been 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 a while. Good? Been good. Vlogging now. Even like here. Yeah. yeah. Or even here. Yeah. Hey, Demis with the kids. <laughs> Boring my lens. Yeah, dude, this shot is insane. Being independent on a group shoot, I find, is very important. Yeah, I think so. Hey, vlog! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, guys, we're shooting at Barangaroo today. We're just walking around at the moment. Liam's shooting Maddie, who's a model. We're just chilling, just walking around and seeing what we can shoot. Barangaroo is actually a really cool spot for architecture photography. Um, there's a couple of new buildings coming up here and it's relatively a new area in Sydney. Um, lots of offices and because of what's happening right now around the world it's actually very quiet now which is good I guess for photography. But yeah, if you're out in Sydney and you want to get some cool architecture shots, Barangaroo is the place to go. What are you thinking? What are you thinking Alright, so there's a really cool tunnel in Barangaroo. So there's this edit that I've done in the past where it's like a reflection and like you have to shoot very close to the mirror and um, one guy is posing one way and then on the other side the reflection. The, it's really hard to explain these types of is shots. It, yeah. You just have to show you guys how to do it. Is it like a, um, would you say it's like, yeah like a reflection. You take two photos. Two photos and then the, you reflect them and then the, the reflection they're doing something different. Oh. So, yeah, let's just try it out, see how we go. Um, I'll show you guys some examples of what I'm talking about as well. In here, somewhere. Um, but yeah, yeah. But um, let's try it out, let's see how we go. I think I'm gonna shoot that way. Uh, I'm gonna get Chris to model for us. On your model, so where do you want me? So, I've done this before, where this is not lit up, but I might have to take the reflection. Okay. So first, I'm gonna get Chris to pose for the first photo. Um, and what he's gonna do is pretend that he's lifting himself up who's going to be on the other side of the reflection. You're just going to be like posing like this. Yep. A bit higher maybe, a little point. Yeah, that's it. Um, arm higher, head higher. And just stand on your feet. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And we're going to get him to pose the second photo where he's going to be levitating and like getting lifted up by himself. What you're gonna do is you're gonna jump upwards, okay. turn 45 degrees, okay, like this, and pretend that you're getting like lifted up. Okay, so it's so like up this way, arms back. Yep. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's try it. Alrighty. Alright. Ready? One, two, three. That's it. That's cool. One more time. Yep. Alright. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. Okay. That's cool. Alright, guys. We just finished the shoot. We're gonna go grab some dinner now at Incredible Chicken because these guys are craving it from Melbourne. And then I'm gonna go home and show you guys how I edit that film. And Yay! Yay! Sorry, I ruined your vlog. <laughs> Alright, so I just got home now. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how to create this edit. Alright, so I've already imported the photos that I want to use into Lightroom. First, we're just gonna color grade this first image of Chris reaching out and standing on the ground. I find it quite useful to straighten the photo vertically because it'll help with blending in the other photo later on. For this first color grade, I just want to try to balance out the colors, lift up the shadows a bit because it's slightly dark, and also make the tones slightly cooler. We're going to be doing a more stylized edit later at the end when everything is combined. Next, we're going to open this up in Photoshop by right-clicking and then edit in and then edit in Photoshop. Then go back to Lightroom and copy the same color grade to the photo of Chris jumping. 
I didn't copy the straightening though, so I just did that again because the framing is different. I could have made this editing process a lot easier by one, shooting on a tripod so both frames lined up perfectly, and two, by asking Mike and Liam to move out of this frame to get a clean background. But it's okay, we can remove them using an empty frame later on. But just a tip for you guys, if you want to create an edit like this, probably going to be easier for you to edit if you use a tripod and have a clean background with no people. Alright, so now we're going to just open up the other two images in Photoshop as well. Okay, now in Photoshop, go to the first image with Chris switching out, and I first just crop and work out the composition. I crop to a 4x5 ratio for Instagram, and make sure delete crop pixels is turned off at the top, so I can keep adjusting the crop later on. Because I know I'm going to be adding more sides to the image, and I can do that because I shot using a wide angle lens, I decided to crop more than the original frame. For the composition, I placed Chris on the right vertical rule of thirds line, and placed his feet on the bottom horizontal rule of thirds line. Okay, so now we've got the composition, I drag in a guideline from the left ruler and snap it to the center. Then I draw a box using the rectangular marquee tool on the right half of the image and then I right click and click layer via copy. With this new layer selected, I right click the image and click free transform and then right click again and click flip horizontal and I move him into place on the left side. Alright, so next let's bring in the jumping image. Select all and then copy and paste it into the main file. Then change the opacity to 50% and try your best to line up the two images together. Use the free transform tool and distort to try to match this better. Like I said earlier, this step would have been much easier if I just used a tripod when I was shooting. Okay, so once the two images are lined up, click the layer mask button to mask out the left side and reveal the image of Chris reaching out below. Use the paintbrush tool and play around with the size and hardness by right clicking. And then paint black to hide or white to show. Just experiment here until the image is looking right. Essentially all you need to do here is just to remove the left side so you get one half with Chris reaching out and the other side with Chris jumping. Next we're going to add in the extended backgrounds on the left and the right and also remove Liam and Mike from the background. So I select this part of this third image and copy and paste it into the main file. Again this step could have been avoided entirely if I had just shot the original image without people in the background. But if you had to do this like me, then again Change the opacity of the layer to 50% and position into place. Then use a layer mask to blend it in. Use your free transform tools to push and pull into place so everything looks natural. Next, let's merge all the visible layers together into its own new layer. To do this, hit Ctrl Alt Shift E or Command Ctrl Shift E and then I copy the left side to the right side so it matches. Then again using a layer mask, bring back the image of Chris jumping. For this, I had to select around him using the magic wand and then the quick select tool so I can mask around him with more precision. I also then just added some adjustment layers to try and match the colors and make it blend seamlessly. I used a brightness contrast and a color balance adjustment layer. Take your time with this until everything is looking right. I also tidied up the ground and any weird markings by selecting them and then right clicking, clicking fill and when this menu appears, make sure the content aware is selected and hit OK. Finally, to make it look even more realistic, I wanted to add in the LED light wall pattern back into the jumping side of the image. To do this, copy the LED wall from another image and paste it back into the main file. Again, using the opacity 50% and the free transform tool position into place. For this layer, I used the blending option difference and use an opacity of 15%. And that's it. Hit file and then save and then go back to Lightroom for a final color grade. For this final color grade, I wanted to give a cyberpunk feel to the image. So I really pushed out the blues and aquas and played with the highlights to give the image a bit of a glow. I also added a vignette and a few graduated filters from the sides to bring more attention to the center of the image. Another idea for this edit is you could make both sides different colors, like blue on one side and red on the other side for example, to give that two different world feeling to the image if you wanted to. Alright, that's it. So now let's look at the before images and now let's look at the final result. Try this edit out, make sure to tag me in your Instagram posts and stories so I can have a look. Alright, so I hope you found that tutorial useful. I hope to make more videos like this where I actually go out and shoot and come back and show you guys how I created the edit. If you have any questions or if you want to learn anything specifically from me for the next tutorial, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like and if you want to see more coming soon, make sure you subscribe. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember to always push your creativity to the next level. Bye!
you want me to just like weigh the piece sign and say nothing or do you want me to give you my input on like right, the knife? Chris doesn't feel like a validator in the last <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go. Say what you want to say. I'm just saying, um, right, it's a bit deeper than this, but I didn't know before <laughs> if Liam just wanted me to say No, 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 no,